everybody and how are you? My name is Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch. And here at The Flower Patch I make beautiful artificial flower arrangements for the home, for the door, front doors like swags, wreaths and things for the garden and uh, sympathy arrangements and much, much more. Right guys, I'd just like to thank you very much again for your wonderful comments on uh, what we did yesterday on the big spring wreath. Um, I've already had somebody who's interested in it, so that may be sold quite soon. So, today guys, I'm going to do a table centrepiece arrangement. Um, I've had a request of somebody if I could just do something for the home in blues and that's all I was given nothing more so I have to use my imagination and go by that so we're going to do a centerpiece in blue so I'm going to put the camera down so you can see um, but we are going to do it on I've already attached the wreath wrap on a uh, block well a, a rectangle tray the plastic ones and I've put one block of dried foam in and covered it with the wreath wrap and attached some floral pot tape to go around to give it that extra support so that's what we're going to use today and uh, I'm going to go quickly through what we've got I've got, as you know guys I've got my other bits and bobs in case I change my mind so we've got I've only got bits and bobs I've tried to prepare I am late coming on today because it is snowing and I tried to go and do my grocery shopping today before it settles and gets thicker to the point where I can't drive in it so I've managed to do that so and then I've had to come in and do something and then prepare everything hence the reason I am late doing a video and it is just gone two o'clock in the afternoon so again today I've tried to prepare and I've got bits out I've got some of our salal that we're going to use or may go may may use in, depending on if I change my mind on what's in my tub. I've got some um, bay leaves as well. I've also got out bits of boxwood. I've chopped all these down. <laughs> so bits of boxwood. I've also got out some Boston fern that I've chopped. I've got some grasses, I've got my variegated ficus, because with it being blues I want to add white so I'm having the ficus with the white on. And I've got my ferns, I always think ferns look beautiful in any arrangement. And I'll show you before I go on to the floral, <laughs> what I've got in my box. I've got, oh gosh. I've got, as you can see, my willow, long stem willow. I've got some seed heads. I've got some blueberries. I've got this, um, I, as I say, I forget what it's called, but the wispy bits. I've got another stem of that I've placed in. I've also got my foxtail fern that I've placed in for wispy bits. I've got in some long big fern leaves I've got some I've had to start using new stems now of my uh, silver dollar eucalyptus and also I've found in the bottom of a bucket three um, arignops, arign arignums sorry, which are thistles so I may incorporate those and I've also spotted as I was going along. I forgot I got these, if I was being quite honest. Some blue seed heads. So, 
I cut bits out and place some bits all in there. So that's my spare bucket. <laughs> I've got to have a spare bucket, guys. So I've got out as well because I want to do white. Um, some of my lily of the valley. Um, I've got out some more. I've done the same with these as well. It was a big hydrangea. I pulled them off of the main head and put them on single picks so to make them smaller. So I've done prepared those as well. I've got out some of my calla lilies at long last. Here they come, guys. Back in. So we're going to have some of those, I guess. I've got out some Queen Anne's lace, just a few little daisies, I thought we may just pop a few of those in. And some filler foliage, this is, um, here we go again look, I think lavender, or is it a still bit, no lavender, baby lavender. And for our blue florals, I've got, guys, these are gorgeous. Blue ranunculus. Look at the shade of those. Now, aren't they divine? Oh. And then I've also, I'm not sure about these, but I thought I'd get them out just in case again. Some blue wild flowers. And for our main flowers, I've got blue magnolia. Look at those, aren't they pretty? Oh, with a brown stem. Now I have prepared a small bow as well in advance on today's project. I've just put a bit of hessian in, navy blue um, ribbon and a bit of the cream coloured uh, deco web ribbon as well. And I've done the loops at four inches. On your mat, when you measure them, it will be eight inches. And I may incorporate that in the centre and sink it a little bit in so it's not stuck on the top. Um, and then arrange the flowers around it. That is what I may do. May. <laughs> I may change my mind and have it higher up. Who knows? So that is what we've got to work with today. So I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see me because I'm going to sit down and be lazy today. Now I've done the shopping. <laughs> so let me just alter the camera guys for you. Bring those up. I've got a feeling when my husband comes home the cat's going to be here. So let's bring that down like that. I hope that that's where you can see along those lines. So, oh my coffee. Let me just have a swig of my coffee. Again I've got the heater on today guys because it is absolutely freezing with the snow. So let's have a look first, I want to see, and what I'm going to do with the arrangement, I'm going to bring it out and then out slightly here, so it's sort of a, when you look at it that way, like a diamond shape, or point, semi pointed, not too pointed, and round it off at the sides, and, maybe, and then point it at the top. We'll see how we go as we go along. So again, I put a floral wire on, and I don't want this right up here, <coughs> excuse me, because I want it to sort of like sit on uh, a little coffee table or something. So let's just dip this. Oh, I've got my glue gun. Let me switch it on. I've plugged it in today. So while we're waiting for that, now again I'm in two minds whether, because I like to have ferns around the bottom 
and I've got all different sizes in here. Uh, these were all on a main stem, on different stems, and I have chopped them all down off the main stem. <laughs> To, just to give me some more room in my bucket, no other reason. So again, I don't want it extremely long. Yeah, that may be about enough. And then two smaller ones at the side. Take that one off so then it's the same size. And then those. So we'll just use those for now while I place those back here. I've got a feeling I am definitely going to be using the silver dollar. I've got a great feeling. Look how flat it comes. Um, I, I do like to see this because it's got a, like a bluey grey tint to the leaves. I thought that would definitely add some interest. So we'll keep that out. So while we're waiting for that, we'll place in our ferns on the end. And I'm going to go in the centre, up right at the bottom. Just straighten that up a little bit, right at the bottom. And I'm going to do the same. Now, if you want to get particular concerning measurements, you could get your tape out. I mean, I was taught different style, uh, different ways. If I just show you beginners, if it may help you as well. So you can measure one, see where the tip of it goes to. 21 and a half. And then measure the other side. So that one needs to be pushed in slightly a little bit more to make the same length. Perfect. So now they're both the same either side. That's if you want to be particular about where your leaves are. Hi, honey. Hello. Have a cold day. We've got snow that I had to reverse about a mile and a half because it's snow coming down for the hill. Oh my god. Calls, lorries, everything. <gasps> so here we have our one to go around the side and this will go in the centre as well. And I want to push that there. Again, if you wish to measure. You measure from the oasis or the floral the foam to the highest point that is 18 centimeters. I used to have to do this a lot. Right, let me just see before I carry on. Perfect. So I just lean that one down so it's touching the surface. Like that. Because once that's on the surface it will touch the bottom like that. Right, that should be ready yet. So, I'm going to place that in the centre. So, I'm going to just put a bit of glue gun, glue gun, <laughs> bit of 
glue from my glue gun and I'm going to have the tail ends at the sides and I'm going to push it in. Just get that glue off my fingers. Again, I want it slightly countersinking so that is our pretty bow. Isn't she lovely? So, and what I want to be doing with, again, I was taught several ways when it comes to arrangements like this. You could place all your foliage in, but at once, before you start placing your floral. But I want some of the magnolia coming out either end. Oh, here's my cat. I said it, didn't I? I said it. I literally said it. We've just started the video and he's only just decided to come in. So you can go and lie down because you're wet from the snow. No, here we go. He wants to come here. No, Marley. <laughs> oh, gosh, guys. Sit there and get dry. You are wet through. Let me shut the door. So stay there. No, don't follow mummy. Be a good boy. Oh, here we go. No. <laughs> no. No. Be a good boy. Don't rub your body all over. Go, oh, you're heavy. Go over there. And stay there. No. Oh, gosh, guys. Round one. Right, let me tell you. Have a sip. I've got two coffees. I tell you, it's like a restaurant in here. So, now I've got that, I want to use a bit of my fern and this is I'm showing you the way that I was taught with my foliage first and I was taught to do two ends two sides first then you go corner to corner corner to corner next so if that makes sense So then you go here, bring that in like that, and then you go straight opposite to the other side. You go from one side to the next, you mirror image it straight away. You don't just go there, 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 there. I was always taught it's there, you then go over and place one here and then go over there. Just twisting these into shape so they're a bit more straight. And then into this corner. And this is how you're creating your line of your arrangement. And this is how you I've always been taught to do the fuel the coffin sprays or the casket sprays as well. It's taught the same way. So before I place some more of these in. I want to add oh my goodness, some grass and that grass is going to go at the sides. So this is an, the next step that you take. So once you've done all your corners you go centre one side and you 
do the opposite on the other side. And I'm placing them all down, you know, as you can see, down near the bottom here. They're not coming up here. Anyway, they're all placed along the bottom. And then I go this side. Then I do the other side. So then you have that effect, if you can see, where it's now pointed and then it's coming around to the next point. So then now we need something beside the ferns, the longest ferns. So I can either place some more in there, but these need to be shorter, so I'd have to push these right in. How many have I got left? One, two, three. Right now, I've only got three. I could go and get another one. I'm trying to keep sat down. So, if that's the case. So what we are basically doing, let me put that there, we are creating our line, our structure, no they're not needed just yet. I may have to get another one guys, oh well I didn't want to do this. Oh my goodness! So, usually on um, casket sprays, they tend to use things like fatsia or aspidistra leaf and things like that around the bottom for the structure. Because this is just a table arrangement, the I mean, you don't have to just use those if you're doing a funeral, uh, but it's quite common. Or eucalyptus, or things like that. So what I do one side, I go down and do it on the opposite side. and then I go at the bottom here and I'm pushing it quite far in as you can see we have that or that as you can see so now we still need to fill in bits around there <coughs> excuse me so this is where it will sit. I'll get cut these off. It's not long enough to save. Oh. I don't need a great full one like that, so I'm going to be chopping into this. I'm just trying to move things here, guys, so we, the cat can't come. <laughs> right, so I only need a little, little ones.
So what I'm going to do is bring these now around the bottom as well. So I will go here. And then where I've gone there, I go into this corner here and do the same thing. Right. So then you have it like that. So you're just going from top to bottom, top to bottom, and that's how you're placing them. one here. Again I'm going right on the bottom row, I'm not going or you know above, I'm staying around the bottom. And I've cut the stems really really short. As you can see we're placing them right in like that. So then you've got that and then now you can either place one there, one there, and then one there. So we need one and four. <laughs> Gosh. One, two, three, So now I'm going to go on this side, above, just above the fern and push it right in. And what I've done there, I go to this side and do the same thing. Again, I'm going above the fern, pushing the stem right in. And then we'll get another piece, and now we're going to go on that side here. So just above that fern there. Push that as far as it can go in. And then I'm going to do the same on this. So then it's starting to look full like that, if you can see. Don't worry about thinking that you're hiding all your flowers underneath because it's around the edge basically that you'll see once it's placed on your table. So then now we get our ferns again. And I'm going to stick one there. With the ficus you can either if I just get a piece out, use that in the corners. I might actually do that first before I do the, and bring some of the white down below. So I want smaller pieces. I don't think I've got them. Again, I don't want them too large. So we'll place that one above from this corner fern. So you've got a bit more. And just intertwine it with the rest. I've got glue behind my nail and I can feel it's stuck to my skin. Go 
another piece in this corner above the fern. And this is just adding and filling up those and making it look full. So now I'd like one in the centre. smaller pieces that I'd place there. So there is your bottom. If you want to extend that a bit more, you can. I was just looking at it as I was going along. It may need extending. <laughs> Let me just try a bigger piece. Because I want to see that point. Yeah. So I'm going to pull this out. longer one in like that oh I've got two <laughs> I'll do the same with this one better on that side. Is so I might take the smaller ones out on here guys. Not with those I'm gonna take the glue off of this. Make them a bit longer. And I'm just gonna go as the side of the hole where I've just placed it or where that one's just been. Ficus again, but now our fern. So once you've done around the bottom, going at an angle, corner.
corner here, just take it in, have it leaning slightly over. that do it this side in the corner slightly leaning over and I'm not going in the exit right in the corner I'm bringing it in so it goes in at a diagonal so if you can see I'm placing it there, it's a diagonal position going in. Oops, bring that up a bit. Like that. And again. Just straighten. Oh, I feel like I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying back. Straighten that out. Go here again at a diagonal position where the bow is. Lift your bow up here again at a diagonal in the center point, like that. So you have that. Doesn't that look pretty just with the greenery? So then get another two, or maybe three on this occasion. Uh, I could use all four actually. Get some more and in between these ones go further in near to the centre of your bow. Let me just turn that round better like that so it's near to the centre of the bow. Now lift this bit up. I'm going right under where the bow is. And this is just creating the next high top. Again, if you notice, I still keep going from corner to corner and doing the opposite of, of what I've done. So I'm going to go here, right near the centre where the bow is placed in. Then under the bow again, right near the centre. And it's placed in between these two, so it's there. I like them two, that one's there, and these two, this one's here, and so on. So then there you're, you're creating your height and how high you want to go up. And that is making it look where your greenery then is it in, placed in first and then you work your floral around the greenery. So then now I could get some eucalyptus and do the similar thing. I don't want the ficus on the top. Let's just gather that out of the way. It's there's a lot concerning once the greenery is out of the way. I mean, people say that you know, then it's foot, then that's when the fun begins. Now I like putting the greenery in. You know, I'm I must be different. <laughs> Let me just pull this out because I haven't got a long enough stem for that. I'll use that. Again, I don't want to use 
four, so what have I got? One, two, three, four, five. So, oh, I know I've got another one in here somewhere. So I'm going to pull all these off of the here, off of the main stem. I just bring that there. Just pulling them off the main stem like that. And then I'm placing my own picks on. So then again, I don't want them. So then they end up like that by themselves. And I do this with quite a few things, um, so it gives me more to play around with and to position, oh gosh, and to position, especially if I don't need the big stems. Don't worry about if you think they may be sticking up. Once your floral's in, it will look totally different. So, and that, look how, how that's getting full. So, now I'm going to just place those there. I don't know about those. They're a bit with too floppy. I've got box board, but I'm going to may add that. That's my filler. So let's start on our floral. Right now, first of all, let me take these off. I try to get prepared. I want to either end. Leaning where you see that fern, that is the base of this flower for those to sit on. So that is what we're going to do with the, this magnolia. Right, 
Let's see if I can fluff them up a little bit. Because these are silk, so. Give them a bit of an opening. Like that. And what I'm going to do is where you see this big fern, just move the foliage. I'm going to place it there and push it in so it sits beautiful on the end. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one. How many flowers is that? So then you have your flower at each end. Doesn't that look beautiful? Just sort my bow out. So then, <coughs> excuse me, I've got another small piece. So now we've got these done there. I could easily place those there, but they will be too long. They will be past our boundary. Hence the reason I've cut small ones. So we're going to place in the small ones at the side, above the fern, what's there. just here, above here, and place that one there. Doesn't that look pretty with the blues around? Oh, aren't they beautiful? I love magnolias. Now we've got two left. We could place them either corner there. We could place four in. But we're taking into consideration, I have got our ranunculus, my favourite of all flowers. And then we've also got our magnolias where I want to. Look how they bounce off from that. Aren't they pretty? Dot those around also, guys. I don't know about these blue flowers. Oh, no. No, they don't suit. Let's see. About this. Yes, we'll add some of those definitely in. We can't not add our colour lilies. So they're going in, they're going in. Daisies. Maybe. 
No. We're not adding the... Um, maybe. So there are maybe. Filler foliage. Mm, we've got filler foliage. I like to get myself prepared. As you know me guys, I'm coffee. Well, best drink that one my husband brought in because that one's going cold already. So, let's get these in. So I could do the same with this, chop this down and have smaller ones coming out here. So then I've got, or I could just leave two there. Because again, with me having my ranunculus, if I placed one here, I could have ranunculus within the center of that so to speak, around there. Or I could place the ranunculus above there. In fact, let's hang on to the magnolia and get the ranunculus in. Now I have got a couple of buds in here, I've noticed. So let's get the bigger heads out first. Oh, so, sort of bigger heads. One, yes, yeah, two buds. So there's four. So I'm going to place these four. One, two, three, four. So where I'm going to position the, these, it's going to be here. So push that in. Again, it has to be lower than that height because we are going down at an angle to a point. So if you have it out here, if I get one to that angle, you're going off square. So you need to be bringing it in at a slight, about an inch away from the top highest point of that flower to bring it in. I do that this side, do exactly the same. That's that floor, so I need to bring that in a little bit more. That's like that, guys. So you've got blue going all around, around the bottom of your arrangement. So now you will need to be bringing some blue above or you can uh, start adding in the odd bits of white. I want to carry on with the blue and then add the white in just like I did with the greenery. One, two, three, four, five. So four there and then I've got two boards which can go either end as well. So <coughs> we'll do the same here where I'm going to be placing this here above this corner fern. 
and that's where I'm placing these on the top again just above the corner fern and that's giving space as well between each flower head and again this corner fern So from above as of yet, that is how we see it. From the sides look, as you move it around, you see. Do you see now by placing in your foliage how it intertwines with the flowers once you start putting your floral in? Now I've got two here, buds. I'm going to bring those slightly like a point so it's a triangle on either end here because the end point is a triangle and that's what we're going to be creating with these buds so I will go here put these in like that so as you can see, your triangle there. And that is mimicking like doing the same thing as what the fern right on the bottom and this magnolia is doing, going to a point. So then do the same with this one. doing the same as well. So we've got that left we don't need. I'm just seeing where we could place these. No, I don't think we're going to need those guys. I think that's enough on that. I'm going to put some of these in, I think. Look at the contrast with it being dark like the, like the ribbon against the lighter blue on the ranunculus. But these are little oddments, and so I'm going to have to put picks on these. I don't know why I use these, but I can't remember using them for anything. I'm going to get the most out of these by placing them on their own picks. And then I can scatter these around. Oops. 
try to be quick. You know me, guys. I say I try to be quick. <laughs> but then I like to take my time. Not for me, for you guys. I don't mind doing a video all day long. So what I'm going to do as well, now you see where all the gaps are, let me cut one down first, in between the flowers, that's where I want to place them, going all the way around. So again just to add that little bit of extra torch. And that contrast, how the dark blue against just a slightly lighter blue. So that's one there, so I want one here. just to get that little bit of different texture Then I go either side of the magnolia on the ends. And just I'm going to do the other side, even though it's not usually my rule, I tend to go side to side. But while we're on this end, me as well. So that's in the corner, oops. Either side of the magnolia. darker blue and I will bring may use some of those and bring those above so now we are gonna get in our magnolias uh, not magnolias <laughs> our hydrangeas guys one two three four five six seven eight for now so, let me just fluff those little things up. I am going, now you see where the magnolia is there and that ranunculus. That is going to be positioned around there. So. That blue string, I can see. I'll do it on this side again. So it's like that look, place there. Now 
go this side. Like that. I'm just opening them up with, just to make them a bit more fluffy. If you want to open them slightly more, just lean the bottom of the stems over. Uh, but be careful in case because some of them are quite delicate and they will split and maybe break off. So I'll place those like that. This is now where the lighter coloured flower starts to bring the blue alive. So then I want one the bow there, or I may bring one. I may bring one actually above the magnolia first. Let's see what it looks like. So I don't want a ring around the top. So it needs something needs to come down but a little bit lower. So I'll bring this side slightly lower. So it's like that. Oh, my cat's getting fidgety, guys, because um, it's gone three o'clock and he's uh, thinking I'm going to feed him. It's not his food time till four. Oops. So that, let me look from the top. It looks like that from the top. Doesn't it look pretty, guys? What do you all think? Some people think blues aren't a very nice colour, but trust me, you can get some beautiful blue flowers. Fabulous. Now, I want to maybe bring some, if I just place it down at the bottom, if you can see, around here. I need to bring white at the bottom um, I can't just have it above and the blues uh, because we're going to uh, have it like a, you know on the top because we need to balance it out by because there's a lot of blues around the bottom we need to bring a white in to balance that out so because we've got here and here I want to place these if I cut one off again right under here in between those two and that is what I want to do so I've got that one and that one there again it's going right where the greenery is at the bottom as you can see there Lift it up. These sort of arrangements, I like to make them look fairly full. Mind you, I think most of my <laughs> most of my arrangements, guys, are full. That 
And then these, that's enough with these then. We don't need any more of these guys. So again, now we've added the white around the bottom, it's balancing it all out. So we don't need no more of those. Now I could, I say I want to place these there. I may place some in at the top. Let me just have a look at the Queen Anne's lace first. Before I cut it, let me check it. I don't know about the Queen Anne's. <coughs> oh, just... No, I think whether it be those I'm just figuring something out guys For definite. Let me just look. I feel I want, I knew I'd get all <coughs> a smaller. Guys, I was looking this morning and I spotted them. And they've got their own foliage as well. Don't know about them now. <laughs> oh. no, I, don't want those in. I hate having to get off my chair. Not that I'm lazy, it's just I want to be prepared and organised to the point where I don't have to get off. They're better. There and now, there and now. Mm, I'm not going to use a Queen Anne's lace either, as much as I love it. allow because it's too big. Let's 
that's the reason I've got the bay leaves out to add, yeah, they definitely are. So, I don't think the calla lily is going in either. Oh, my poor little calla lilies. Don't worry guys, they'll soon be back out properly. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the white lavender, baby lavender, as our filler foliage to dot around, as you may see here, things like that. Now I've just got my baby chrysanthemums out. And if I want to just place the odd one down here, like that at the bottom as well. We'll see about those. But what I'm going to do, I want wispy bits in, guys. I've got to have wispy bits. That's one of my trademarks, is my wispy bits. So I'm going to go here, here, I'll bring one out here the sides by lifting my bow up I'm going to pull again lift up the bow go there I'm going to bring two out either end here further down, one there, I'm going and placing it in the corner, the exact corner, to either side at the bottom. So I'm going to go right where the fern is, down there. Side of the magnolia. So it's like that. So there's all my wispy bits in. There you have it. I hope you can see that. I'll just bring it up a little bit closer. All the wisp of it. So, I think I'm going to just place 
Let's these berries three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to place these on the top for that rich dark blue. Oh, I just love doing flowers. I'm always in a world of my own, guys. I don't know about yourselves, but I am always in a world of my own. I love it. My oldest son called me the master flower creator. <laughs> don't know where he got that from. There's always somebody out there better than moi. That's what I tell him. So, I'm going to get where the white is, I'm going to place that blue and that's basically where the white hydrangea is. Placing that like that. Then I want one either end. So now I'm going to go around I still feel I think I need something up there yeah I'm going to place one of these baby chrysanthemums or oh, as we say mums mums stop here either end
little thought keep fluffing my bow again I said I wanted my bow inserted into the arrangement that's with the uh, mums at the top the baby chrysanthemums don't they look pretty so I can't I think I'm just going to use the bay leaves I don't think let me just see Oh, I don't know guys, that does look pretty. Just hanging out, as you can see, just here, hanging out. There's a bit of decor. Oh, you know I'm gonna do it, don't you? <laughs> I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna place them where I'd like them to be. I've got nothing to lean them on. Let's start from this side. Right, I'm going to do it this side, work my way around. And intermingle those within. Then I think fill a foliage. Bring some at the bottom as well, bring a bit of white at the bottom so I'm going to lift up and I'm just going to go and place it right next to where the grass is or on either side of the fern. counted right when I chopped them. Oh my goodness, I'm just getting good at this. <laughs> I counted them when I chopped them down and I thought well that must be enough. So now I'm going to place in our filler foliage. Do I use the salal? I love my salal. I'm going to cut one short, and I'm going to I'm going to look. No, it is too big. Oh, that's a shame. So then it's. 
gonna be our bay leaves. And so now I'm placing this in wherever I can see just a gap like that one there. I may use all these in fact. Let's cut them all down. I may have to go and get some more things on the right on the top shelf. Oh, never mind. So all in good fun. Oh gosh, that was close. I take these off as well, off the main stem, and use individually as well, unless again otherwise if I'm doing something different where I want the full stem of it. They are beautiful though. I'm just looking for the gaps and placing them So guys, there we have it. That is our beautiful request from a subscriber asking if we could do a table arrangement or something for the home, sorry, in blues. So I just took it on board because I had no other information to go by. I thought, right, let's do a table display you can't go wrong a centerpiece it can go anywhere you know in the home the window it can go on the coffee table the dining room table uh, anything like that 
in the bedroom. All sorts, all sorts, guys. And that is it from the top. Now, doesn't she look beautiful? Oh my gosh, if I do say so myself. Now, I know who's going to like this. Julie Hodgkins, she loves blues. So, another person who likes blues. Mind you, it does look pretty. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Um, and I will give it a, you know, zoom in, as I say close up. I was going to place a candle in it. I've got a candle ready mate, ready out to place just one. I wonder if that might look nice there. Just one on the end. Let's just... If I've got any room. I did get the candle out. I wonder if that looks effective. It might be wobbly. might help <laughs> it's just another idea I did get it out I did get two out but I placed one back I thought how was that just having one but then as I started going along I thought oh we don't need a candle so let me just I don't know so let me know guys what you think with the candle or without the candle leave your comments about it and tell, tell me what you think by just posting a little comment I don't know. I can't like it with a candle. Maybe if I had a candle at the other end as well, it might look even better. Stay there, guys. <laughs> Here we have it. So if I placed one. I've got to make sure that they're both the same. I hope they don't fall out. <laughs> so, with the candles or without the candles, guys, leave us your comment. I quite like two candles now. <laughs> I think that's better. I really do think that's better. So, I'm going to do uh, just lift up the camera. One moment. <laughs> Let's just lift it up. Oh, you probably could have saw. Oh, I thought you couldn't see me today. Never mind, guys. Oh, I'll leave it there. So. Oh, it looks lovely from above. I'm not saying... <laughs> I'm not saying it doesn't look lovely or anywhere else. But here's the full um, scale of it, all the way around, with the blue bow and the hessian bow in the centre, and the deco web ribbon as well. And your beautiful magnolias and ranunculus. I love them. Any colour, absolutely any colour ranunculus. It is the shape of the flower that I adore, and it really is. And the layers inside, I love them. So guys, so if you wish to give something like this a go, give it a go. It's quite easy, you know, it, like I say, go corner to corner like that and you're building up, um, you know, your greenery. And by placing in the greenery first, as you can see we did, then we place our florals in. Now you can see how the whole of the arrangement comes together because the greenery is incorporated within the floral because we left gaps for the floral to sit. So that's why we brought our greenery up higher as well. So the florals could sit within the greenery at the top also as well as the bottom. So that's the effect it has on by doing things like this and doing your greenery first. Because if you did, um, I mean, I've tried it where 
where I did a bit of both and I started getting, well not confused, placing things in the wrong way. I tend to have like, if I did a fern this end and then a fern this end and then I'd place a flower there and forget the flower there and then place other things here and then when it come to doing this end I'd be checking what I've done and it would have taken me more time and then sometimes I didn't place things in and all, or I missed something. So hence the reason when you're placing your greenery in, mirror image what you've just done. So fern there, fern there, fern there, fern there in the same position. And you, this is why with these, you can saw I put these in, two there, there's one somewhere down here, one here, one here, and in the corners as well. So, and like with the ranunculus and things like that, and it all then blends and looks balanced. So again, if you want to watch the video back to just have, you know, another look on how to do it and the placement of your florals, Feel free guys, I don't mind, you know, it's always there. One of my subscribers did send me a message as well saying please don't delete any of your videos. Um, I won't be de deleting any of the videos my darling. Um, they're on there for, for good really. <laughs> Not because I can't be bothered to delete them, I just don't delete them. It's just they're there because somebody's going to come along, maybe I look at it perhaps in a year's time and think oh I need some a tutorial on that and I've got the video there you know why would I delete it you know I just wouldn't that's cruel it's there for everybody to see and to watch at your own leisure it really is the only time I probably delete it is if I ever stop doing flowers and I can't see that not yet guys I'm still too young still still like a child in heart and mind so guys i'm going to leave it at that because it's about ready for my cat's tea i've got to go in and start preparing our tea and um, i don't think i'll be going to the choir tonight because of the uh, snow and plus i think they may have cancelled it i did get an email saying they're going to find out whether it's going to be cancelled and let everybody know so never mind so again I'll do a close-up, but if you've got snow where you are, guys, or like Sandra, waterlogged everywhere, please, please, please stay safe. Honestly, guys, I worry about people. Even though I don't live with you or live near you or you're in another country, I, I worry because, I, you know, I love life and I don't want people to hurt themselves and, you know, end up poorly or ill, you know. So stay safe everybody and uh, keep wrapped up warm and if you haven't got to go out anywhere if the weather's really bad where you are don't go out it's the best thing don't go out so i'll leave it there and i'm going to say my goodbyes so god bless everyone so please subscribe please share please 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 like and please leave us a comment on what you think one candle two candles or no candles you let me know and then whoever gives me the majority of the votes if you say no candles on tomorrow's video they will be taken out you won't see them in there so that's only on who gives me the most votes whether none or zero candles, one or two. Okay, guys? I say two. But, uh, but, 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 everybody's got their own opinion. So let me know. All right, then, guys. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to do a close-up, and then I'm going to get going, and I'm going to feed my little cat. And I'm going to make sure the log burner is burning hot. So take care. Have a wonderful day. I love you all you fabulous people. Keep creating and God bless you all. Thank you so much. Bye. Right guys, let's just have a look. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. It's 
So two candles. There's the ribbon. The nice. It's like I don't cut like a canvas. Is I'm after some denim ribbon actually. Um, and there's the hessian. There's the foxtail um, fern along with the Himalayan maidenhair fern and the silver dollar eucalyptus and there's the hydrangea that I took them off and placed on singular stems uh, where can I get a good shot of a beautiful oh look at that ranunculus isn't that divine oh my gosh there's the ficus there's our bay leaves and there's our big fern at the side and there's our lavender and grass in there and there's our navy blue berries they're beautiful where's the magnolias that's it <laughs> i'm trying to get in a position where i can show you the magnolias there there's the magnolias aren't they beautiful and again some buds from the ranunculus our baby chrysanthemums as well and again there's our foxtail fern sitting at the side of the candle and all floating and all balanced. Doesn't it look pretty? So guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. All the best and take special care. Love you all. Bye.